these four examples, we're being asked to identify the intercepts. So there are different types of intercepts you can have. One of the things you have to remember for this is which axis is which. The left and right one is your x. The up and down one is your y. So anything that touches your x-axis is going to be an x-intercept. So x-intercept touches x-axis. And the y-intercept touches the y-axis. So looking at this first example here, First thing I have to do is identify which is my x-axis, which is my y-axis, and where is my line. So my left-right, that is my x-axis. My up-down, that is my y-axis. So now I have my line is the other one here. So looking at my x-axis, I see that it has an intercept right there. So my x-intercept is my x-value comes first, so negative 4, comma, my y-value. At this point right here, what is the y-value? How much up and how much down does it go? It doesn't go up or down any, so that is 0. Looking at my y-intercept for this problem. So there's my y-axis, the up and down one. Looking for where my equation line hits the y-axis. So I have the two of them coming together right there. So this is y equals 3. What is my x-value at that point? Doesn't go left or right any at all. So my y-intercept the x value comes first, that is 0, then my y value, that's the 3, and there is my y intercept. So I have my two answers because I have two spots where it hits one or the other axis. Looking at my next example over here, identify the x axis. Is the x axis the one that goes up and down? Or is the x-axis the one that goes left and right? x goes left and right. y goes up and down. So as I look at my x-axis and I look at my equation line, my equation line forms a v. My x-axis meets that equation line at two spots. So I have two x-intercepts. My first x-intercept, let's try making this x legible. The first one, the x-value of it is negative 2. The y-value of that, 0. So I have negative 2 comma 0 to identify, identify that one spot there. Going on, I have a second one, another x-intercept. The x-value for this one is positive 2. The y-value for this one is 0. So I have my two x-intercepts written down. Now I need to write down my y-intercept. There's my y-axis. There is where the equation meets the y-axis. So my y-intercept is, what is my x-value for that? Left and right. Doesn't go left and right at all. Zero. What is my y-value for that? Negative two. Put the comma in between them.
So if you are asked to answer both x-intercepts in the same answer spot, put a comma between the two sets of numbers. Third example. x-intercept. So I have my x-axis. Hits it once. Hits it a second time. Hits it a third time. So here I have three x-intercepts. x-intercepts. My first one, the y value is 0. The x value is negative 2. So I have negative 2 comma, zero. I have a second one. My second one. X value is one. Notice I'm putting the parentheses around these. Comma. The Y value for that? Zero. Close my parentheses. Put a comma down to separate it from the next one. Okay, so I have the first one. I have the second one. I need my third one. My x value there, 3. What is my y value? 0. So I have my three x-intercepts. Now I need to find my y-intercept. There's my y-axis going from the bottom to the top. I see that it happens only one time. So my y-intercept. What is my x value for that spot? Zero, because I don't go left or right any at all. What is my y value for that spot? That's the up and down part. Three. And then close my parentheses. One more example over here. It's a circle of sorts. It's an oval. As I look at my x-axis, I see it hits there. Continuing on, I see it hits there also. So I have two x-intercepts. Looking at my y-axis, as I go up, I see it hits there. I continue going up, I see it hits there also. So I have two y-intercepts. I need to list all four intercepts. So my x-intercepts first. The x-value of the first one, negative 1. The y-value of the first one, 0. My second x-intercept, the x-value is positive 1. The y-value is 0. So notice it's in parentheses to tell me that it's an ordered pair. I have my x, comma, y. Looking at my y-intercepts. Going from the bottom to the top. First one I see is at negative 2. What is my x value for that? 0, comma. What is my y value for that? Negative 2. Continuing up, I see a second one. What is my x value for that? 0. What is my y value for that point? Positive 1. So a pattern to notice. Each and every one of my y-intercepts, the x value is 0. 
each and every one of my X intercepts. Look at the Y value, the second number. Notice that each and every one of the second number is zero. So my X intercept, Y equals zero. My Y intercept, X equals zero. So X intercept, you're trying to find out what is the number I want to use for X. For the Y intercept, you're trying to figure out what is the number I want to use for Y. The other number is zero.